everyone should receive the flu vaccine. This is recommended for all persons over six months of age. And this is an important tool that we have to prevent this serious infection. Every year in our country, we have about 25,000 excess deaths due to influenza. We can limit that morbidity and mortality if we receive the influenza vaccine. So the risks of having influenza far, far outweigh the risks that are associated with the vaccine. So the vaccine does cause some side effects, can cause a sore arm, some people will get a little bit of low-grade fever or muscle aches that are associated with the vaccine, but these pale into insignificance compared to having a real influenza infection. Uh, the infection again is associated with about 25,000 excess deaths per year, and even young healthy people who, re who get the flu can have a secondary problem such as otitis, sinusitis, bronchitis, or in its more severe form, a bacterial pneumonia. These can cost people their lives. Well, the effectiveness of the influenza vaccine is determined by its match with the circulating strains in the community. Now, a lot of viewers know that last year we didn't have a good match, and so the efficiency or efficacy, the effectiveness of the vaccine was fairly low. It was about 25%. In a year where we have a better match, it's probably more on the order of 60 to 70%. Uh, we don't know what the match will be this year. We hope that it's a lot better because we have changed changed some of the strains that are in this year's vaccine. So all indicators are that we're going to have a better match this year and a more effective vaccine. I should emphasize that even in a mismatch year, we think that there could be some value to receiving the vaccine because it may attenuate the case of influenza. So in other words, it may be a more mild case of flu than if you weren't vaccinated. So instead of having a fever of 103 and feeling terrible for five or six or seven days, you have a lower grade fever and you're back on your feet more quickly quickly.